Hey guys, so today we're going to learn seven words that I cannot pronounce in English and I'm an English teacher from England. Yeah, so don't worry if you make pronunciation mistakes as a learner of a foreign language because even native speakers do make mistakes when pronouncing some words in English, me included. Okay, and one word that I often mispronounce is the word entrepreneur. That is the mistake. Entrepreneur. I want to give it a neur. Entrepreneur. I don't know why. But my friends at Oxford Dictionary say it should be pronounced entrepreneur. 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 If you don't know what an entrepreneur is, somebody who starts a business or a new idea to make a lot of money. So, for example, if you have a self sharpening pencil, pencil that sharpens itself, uh, and you make that into a business and make a lot of money, that would make you an entrepreneur, not an entrepreneur. Okay, probably I make this mistake because it's a word that originates from French and has been adopted into the English language. So we have a lot of words that come from the French language. But anyway, the second word that I have mispronounced in the past is this word, colonel. Now, I've said colonel. Any native speaker who's read this word and hasn't read colonel is lying. They're lying because it reads colonel. It, it doesn't look like colonel. If we're talking and we say, ah, oh, yes, the colonel of the army, blah, 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 we use the correct pronunciation. But when we read it, we don't, unless you know what you're looking for. So, a colonel. This word is pronounced colonel, and I've made this mistake before. Now, a colonel is somebody in a high rank in the army or in the air force, okay? So it's not a word you use too often, but that's how you pronounce it. Colonel, colonel. Okay, guys, the next pronunciation. There are two correct pronunciations. We have schedule and schedule. Now, I'm from England, so I'm supposed to speak British English. Apparently, the British English is schedule. The American English is schedule. Schedule, schedule. But I say schedule, and I'm not American. So am I making a pronunciation mistake? Not really. It's still correct pronunciation. But apparently, yeah, apparently in England, you're supposed to say schedule. I've never said it. Most of my friends don't say it either. They say schedule, okay? To me, also schedule sounds a bit strange. Okay, the fourth word that I often mispronounce is the word mischievous. That's the mistake, mischievous. It's supposed to be pronounced mischievous mischievous but for some reason i really like the sound of mischievous and i've heard it a lot and lots of people pronounce this word this way but the correct pronunciation is mischievous and somebody who is mischievous is somebody who enjoys doing bad things or being naughty but in a playful way somebody who is naughty in a playful way so often little kids are mischievous mischievous not mischievous mischievous I don't know why mischievous, but a lot of people say mischievous, mischievous, and I've said mischievous. Mischievous is the correct pronunciation. The next word is this word, gif or jif. This is a big debate for me. Now, my friends at Oxford Dictionary again say both pronunciations are correct, jif and gif. I've heard people say more gif, but this is where it's interesting. The inventor of the gif or jif, Steve Will height, Will height, Willet. I don't know how to pronounce his surname either. Steve Willet. Anyway, this guy here, he invented the GIF or the GIF, and he says that the correct pronunciation is GIF, not GIF. Okay, so this is the pronunciation I'm going to be using from now on. GIF, GIF, GIFY. Okay, um, number six. The sixth word that I often mispronounce is espresso. I used to do this in the past. I used to say espresso with an X. Espresso. Oh, it sounds good in English. Espresso. It's easier to say. It's not it's espresso. Obviously, again, it's a word adopted from, I don't know, Italian or Spanish or something. Espresso. But you're supposed to pronounce it with an S, not an X. And I hear lots of people in, in Britain or native English speakers say espresso. And now it annoys me because I know it's incorrect. But I used to say it, I must admit. Okay, so espresso. Now, the final word, word number seven, I have a problem with is this word, number seven, almond. Now, I've said almond all my life. Everybody I've heard say this word says almond. But apparently, again, my friends at Oxford Dictionary say it's supposed to be pronounced almond, almond. 
Everybody says almond. So, I say almond, but I should say almond. I don't know. If everybody says it the wrong way, does that mean it's the wrong way of pronouncing the word? Or does that mean it's not the right way to pronounce the word? It's very confusing. But anyway, I think people understand you if you say almond or almond. Um, so yeah, does it really matter? Does pronunciation matter? I think it does matter 95% of the time, maybe 99% of the time, but there's 1% of the time. Does it really matter? I don't think so. Okay, so pronunciation matters, but it's not everything. Maybe that's what I want to say. Anyway, guys, let me know some more words that you find difficult to pronounce in the comments, and perhaps I can do another video talking about this in the future. Okay, guys, do that. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next class.